can't renew your mind without renewing your brain. Are you here? Yeah. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Second Corinthians chapter one and Holy verse twenty. God in the earth All today. of the promises of God Holy in Him God are maybe. Nope. All the promises of God in him are yay. Say yay. yay. Wouldn't that be good? So did he say no? No. All the promises. So if you can find any promise in the Bible, God has already said what to it? He's already said yes to it. And then it says, all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen. Now who does the amen? We do the amen. The amen means so be it or so be it unto me. So who says the amen or so be it unto me? We do. we do. So if God says, this is my promise to you, and where do the promises of God come from? His word, not from the, out of the air. They come from his word. So all the, say this, all the promises, all the promises of, God of God are yes. Are yes. And, I say, and I say the amen. The amen. That's the so be it unto me see now that's the difference between somebody who walks in a promise of God and someone who doesn't the promises didn't change one is not saying so be it unto me and another one is one person gets healed because they say so be it unto me and another person doesn't because they don't say so be it unto me <laughs> same thing with salvation all of those things all the promises say all the promises, all the promises. so it's all the promises anyway well is youth renewal a promise of God yes I'm going to show you tonight that it is from the Bible. I'm not making this up. Right. Youth renewal is a promise of God. Say youth renewal, youth renewal. is a promise of God. Promise so of who's God. it going to work for? Me. The one who says, so be it unto me. Right. right? You got to first know it's a promise of God. Then you got to go, I'm claiming that. So I've preached on this many times before and I'm impressed this evening for either you or you or you or well you probably, but any one of us. <laughs> you came here anyone any one of us or anybody online you don't always know right but I was impressed to focus on one area say one area one area, one area of youth, youth renewal and frankly I've never heard anybody talk about it ever except in the negative I'm impressed to focus on one area and that is on the brain now simple question I'm gonna ask it many times tonight is your brain part of your body Okay, does youth renewal apply to your body? Say youth renewal, youth renewal. Applies, to my body. applies to my body. Right? Yes. And is your brain part of your body? It seems like yes. a silly question, but I think I'm going to enjoy asking that. <laughs> is your brain part of your body? Well, yes it is. It's a physical part of your body. What happens when people get dementia or any of these other things? What happens? Their brain starts to function not up to the level it should. Do you understand that? So what part of youth renewal, a functioning in your brain is going to do, it's going to renew its youth and you're going to have peak cognitive performance out of your brain. Is that a promise of God? Yes. Well, yeah, if youth renewal is a promise, I'm going to try to show you that this evening. Yes. I'm going to show you that youth renewal is a promise of God and youth renewal applies to your body and is your brain part of your body. Yes, yes then it must apply to your brain. Is that a step too far I would imagine no no it applies to every part of your body except for your brain is youth renewal a promise of God yes so if if it is a promise of God from that verse of Scripture we only read one so far what was God's answer to it yes. his answer was yes so his attitude towards youth renewing your brain would be yes, yes. it's already said yes so I'm not you're not trying to talk God into something let's go to Psalms 91 so Psalm everybody knows I'm gonna to try to use some scriptures everybody knows isn't that good mm -hmm. anyone have you ever heard of Psalms 91 mm -hmm. we've all quoted from it you know like uh, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty I will say of the Lord he's my refuge and my fortress verse 2 right that mm -hmm. you understand well, let's go all the way to the end for time's sake look at verse 16 he goes on listing all these wonderful things what does he say verse 16 with long life will I satisfy him where's your long life come from the from the Lord 
now if he's going to satisfy you with long life what must there be there must be healing there must be youth renewal working in you with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation so including in his salvation is long life that's not a step too far you understand that so get used to it you're gonna live a long time now you're, whether you're gonna be satisfied or not right mm -hmm. is that included in this verse am I making this stuff up sometimes I wonder with long life will I satisfy him or her that could include you and show him her my salvation so in salvation must include long life which includes youth renewal he doesn't mean he's just gonna keep you alive on a respirator for a really long time you understand that That's right. yeah he's 300 years old he hasn't moved since 1953 that's not the way it works no. he heals all your diseases he renews your youth it's included in salvation and is your brain part of your body yes, yes so it must include your brain hmm. let's look at verse 10 another one of the promise there shall no evil befall thee say that there shall, there shall no, no evil, evil befall thee no. neither shall any plague come near your dwelling now let me ask you a question it's gonna be a difficult one is dementia or maybe even something like Alzheimer's disease would you qualify that as evil yes. my point here is 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 dementia evil yes has anybody has ever you know seen anybody or known anybody that had that it's evil there shall no evil before so it must be included in the salvation to not have that which means he must renew your youth and the renew their youth of your brain because where does dementia happen in your feet no it happens in your brain do you understand yes is this any good yes. i'm telling you this is helping someone online Amen. so you can just be participate with it someone is getting healed and blessed by it because they're receiving the Word of God and it's doing something to their brain because I've never heard anybody preach about the brain that's maybe because not very many people seem to have them maybe that's it I don't know so is is Alzheimer's disease evil I don't think anybody would say would disagree with that right then is any cognitive loss evil yes because it's in the same category you get no more cognitive loss it means you're going to get back what you had that's what renew means we're going to talk about this renewing your mind to renew means to renew if i took that chair and i didn't like the leather on it and i had it renewed what would i do i would make it all new it would look like a new chair he can't renew your mind without renewing your brain are you here there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling well i got news for you it doesn't just mean your house what do you live in you live in a body it's not going to come nigh your dwelling it's not going to come nigh your mind and your mind lives in a brain <laughs> so he goes on and we read that already with long life will i satisfy him showing my salvation let me ask you maybe a stupid question i don't know how would you even know if you were satisfied if your brain wasn't functioning correctly He's gonna have long life but at the end of your long life you don't even know if you're satisfied because you don't know who you are is this right right say I know who I am I know who I am and I know his salvation and I know right salvation. see God's made provision for us in every area of life and it includes your brain don't let people tell you that oh you got some brain problem God still has a promise that covers that anyway let's try to move right on here so youth renewal is a promise it must of necessity be talking about your brain you can go to one psalms 103 so we're talking about any age related memory loss i'm talking about any age related memory loss forgetfulness distractedness is it a blessing or a curse it's a curse any impaired limited or declining cognitive functioning is this making sense mm -hmm. concentration lack of focus how many of you think you've experienced that yeah is it of god is god doing that to you 
no and it's you know and if you just take what science is telling because these are all scientific definitions that i looked up all of these things they'll just say oh that's a natural progression of the aging of your brain well if you're going to have your mind renewed then your brain has to be renewed and you should have no cognitive loss mm -hmm impaired limited or declining cognitive functioning concentration focus etc including all forms of dementia alzheimer's disease etc all of which i hope you're hearing this mm -hmm. all of which are attributed to the brain and age health by science so what is the solution to that to have the youth renewed in your brain and to have your brain health increased is it a promise of god those are the things i'm asking is this a promise of god if it is a promise of god which i'm going to show you here then the answer is already yes and is it something god does as in renews youth yes then it must include your brain and if your brain's youth re is renewed you will have no cognitive loss it will be renewed it'll be clear again say my mind, my mind. will be clear again, be clear again. right Amen. okay you know i'd want to hear this message if i was having those problems yeah. wouldn't you mm -hmm. all right so youth renewal is a promise of god and it must include your brain psalms 103 did you find it yet mm -hmm. bless the lord oh my what soul. what is your soul your it's your mind your will and your emotions mm -hmm. do you understand that bless the lord O oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord O oh my soul and forget not you're like i forgot what that was gonna say <laughs> and forget not all his benefits what does the bible number one command you to do forget not all of his benefits and he's gonna list some of his benefits that frankly we've forgotten do you understand yes. forget not all his benefits now you can all look all look at all these promises as as commandments or promises you understand he says forget not that's also a promise isn't it mm -hmm. yeah all the promises are to forget not does god have a promise in his bible that you forget not yes. what is forgetting not remembering. that's remembering you see you see <laughs> is this any good yes bless the Lord O oh my soul and forget not all his benefits number three or verse three who forgives all thine iniquities is that a promise of God yes does God forgive all your iniquities yes. I hope so mm -hmm. he forgives all your iniquities it's great it's a promise of God most people would agree with that right, right? Mm -hmm. who heals two of your diseases and then your limits up and you're out of here is that what it says no. who heals all your diseases let me ask a simple question what if you get a disease that comes on people because they're old he doesn't heal those no he said he heals all your diseases it's a promise right mm -hmm. say god, god heals, heals old, age diseases, old age diseases which has to include your brain yeah. are you getting this no. let's read on here who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed whose youth? My youth your youth is renewed oh that just means the youth of your spirit man no what good would that be it's the youth of your physical body and i'll prove it in other verses of scripture you know it it is a promise of god say this it is a promise of god it is a promise of god and it is something he does and it is something he does now whether he does it for you or not is whether you say the amen to it are you getting this that's right yes and is your brain part of your body yeah <laughs> so let's go to genesis chapter 17. are you glad about this mm -hmm. god renews the youth of your brain i'm kind of glad about it all right so genesis chapter 17 let's read these quickly i just want to establish a principle here when abram was old when, when abram was 90 years old and nine say 99. 99 god really didn't even start speaking to him until he was 99. yeah but they were young back in those days that's not what it said 
when Abraham was 90 years old and nine and later on another verse he says they were very old him and his wife were very old Do you understand 90 years old and nine the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him I'm the Almighty God walk be before me and be thou perfect and I will make my covenant between me and thee and I will multiply thee exceedingly and Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying as for me behold my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be the father of many nations are you here who did God say would be the father of many nations Abram, Abram. Abram. how old was he when God said this 99. 99 years old he hadn't had any children yet neither had his wife and she was up there too are you here Yes. How many children? How many people do you, women, do you know that have children in their 80s and 90s? <laughs> Not very many. Seems strange. Go to Genesis chapter 18. And the Lord, verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plain. This is talking about Abram. And the Lord appeared to him in the plains of Mamre. And he sat in the tent in the door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked. And lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, bowed himself down. See, now the Lord's coming and visiting him. Look down at verse 6. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes of the hearth he wanted to feed them something you understand yes so sarah was there too let's look at verse 9 and they said unto him where is sarah thy wife and he said behold in the tent and he said i will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life mm -hmm. now that's a little bit blind to us so that's what we we read that in the king james version if you look it up it literally means i will certainly turn back the time of life for her mm -hmm. why would that be because she was past childbearing age you understand yes and so was abraham mm -hmm. 99 he wasn't thinking about kids raising kids having kids none of that mm -hmm. he said certainly i will return unto thee or turn back the time of life and now abraham and sarah were old verse 11 and well stricken in age age came and struck them really well uh -huh. right look at and therefore Sarah uh, Abram and Sarah were old and well stricken and aged and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of woman is that in your Bible yeah. what does it mean it means they stopped you know being together in order to have children because they were old they were well stricken in age. I just want to prove this point here we're talking about Abraham and Sarah the father and mother of our faith and I'm going to show that to you in a minute and God did something to him God came visited them and said it was one of the first things he said to them I'm gonna come and do something and the thing he said he's gonna do is turn back the time of life which is another way of saying youth renewal if you turn back if I could turn back time who does this who did it well if God did it it's what he does it's how he does things read down here verse 12 and therefore Sarah uh, laughed within herself saying I'm I'm waxed old and shall I have pleasure my Lord being old also she was laughing not only at her but at him because it wasn't gonna happen do you understand yeah. it had ceased being that way and when the Lord said unto Abraham wherefore did Sarah laugh saying shall I of a surety bear a child which am old verse 14 is there anything too hard for the Lord at the time appointed I will return unto thee and according to the time of life Sarah shall have a son and then Sarah denied saying I didn't laugh <laughs> she denied laughing about it are you getting this is it something God does yeah. he did do it and it's literally in the first beginning of the promises of what we come to know as the life of faith go to Genesis 21 we'll end with this here at least in this Old Testament part Genesis chapter 21 look at 1 and 2 and the Lord visited era, uh, Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken right and Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age and set the time which God had spoken of him 
did God do it yes. what did God do to Sarah he said I'm gonna come and do something I'm gonna turn back the time who did this God do this to Abraham and Sarah and then they had Isaac you understand now go to Gen uh, Galatians Galatians chapter 3 let's look at verse 13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us right Christ redeemed us made a curse for us for as it is written cursed is everyone that hangs on the tree that the blessing say the blessing the blessing, the blessing of Abraham would come on the Gentiles that would be us through Jesus Christ that we would receive the promise of the Spirit through faith are you here it's the same promise not that you'll have nations come out of you but the same promise is about your youth being renewed That's right. okay up in verse 9 so then they w which be of faith have you ever heard the just shall live by faith yes they that be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham so they that be of faith are blessed what does that mean you are in that group of people that are blessed look it up in verse 7 now you know therefore they that be of faith the same are the children of Abraham so who is our this really I'm well I'm trying to get across here I'm really trying to lay a foundation so you can understand this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that Abraham is our father they that are be of blessed are children of Abraham children of the same blessing children of the same promise he did what to Abraham and Sarah he renewed their youth not only is it a promise which I've already showed you several promises it's something God does it's something that's in our covenant and it's funny when you bring it up people look like they've never heard it. I've never heard it before it's right there plain black and white and sometimes red so our mother and father of the faith Abraham and Sarah it was a large do you think it was a large part of their promise yes. would Isaac ever be here Isaac ever have come into the earth without God renewing their youth no. no it was a huge part of the promise it's what God said he was gonna do to them not just for them so Abraham and Sarah can you give me this both believed in the renewal of youth yes. did they have to believe in the renewal of youth yes. then what is your problem <laughs> Abraham's our father of the faith Sarah's the father or is the mother of the faith they believed in youth renewal the church should be believing in youth renewal and practicing it and your brain is part of your that your brain is part of your body I hope I'm getting this across mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 23 well you know this right no nope. the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures leads me beside the still waters restores my soul wait a minute he what it's literally the third thing he who God the Lord restores your soul your soul is not your spirit man that's that's restored in a different way your soul is in your mind and your brain holds your mind you understand yes. people that lose their brain lose their mind so if he restores your soul he has to be restoring your brain what does restore mean new. to make new again I looked it up ooh really yeah it makes it new literally I looked up the Hebrew and literally it means to turn back remember what he said to Sarah I'm gonna turn back time so he's gonna turn back your soul he's gonna turn back your brain are you getting this yes. he puts it back to where it was remember that day when your mind was clear he turns it back to that that's he restores my soul it's something God does God did not just quicken Abraham and Sarah's reproductive organs he quickened their in fact remember the kings after that the kings tried to take Sarah into their harem and she was well stricken in age before that God renewed their youth 
That's right. So he's restoring your soul, he's puts it back to where it was. Literally means to turn back clear as yesterday and better. Say clear as yesterday. Clear as yesterday. And better. And better. Well, can God even do that? God does do that. It's what he does. It's his promises. Yes. And you say amen to it. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Romans chapter 12. And let's look at verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies. Now, does your body <laughs> include a brain? Yes. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your what mind. of your mind and what is your mind it's the thing that's in your brain is it possible to have your mind renewed if your brain is not renewed no. it's not so be you transformed by the renewing of your mind just like you take re furniture and you'd renew it it would look like it was new again you could put a new price tag on it clear as yesterday your brain is part of your body and so we look down here and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good acceptable and perfect will of God the perfect will of God one of which is in Psalms 91 that you will have long life and be satisfied and know that you're satisfied Right. one of that be the perfect will of God you live a long healthy happy life and you're satisfied and you know you're satisfied it can't happen unless your youth is renewed and the youth of your brain is renewed I hope I'm getting this across and without the renewal of the mind it's not possible mm -hmm. are you seeing this Yes. but is it possible with God yes, yes. remember that's what Abe, God rebuked Sarah over is anything hard too hard for the Lord no it's not too hard for him Romans chapter 8 verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken say quicken, quicken. what does it mean make alive. to make alive it's an old English word that means to make alive mm -hmm. he that dwells in you shall quicken say shall quicken, shall quicken. your mortal body by a spirit that dwells in you now mortal body what does that mean mortal is something subject to death Alzheimer's is literally the dying of the brain you understand that it's dying he said he will quicken that which is subject to death mm -hmm. is your brain part of your body yes. then it applies to this verse of scripture that the Holy Ghost who dwells in you will quicken your brain and quicken your mind and heal it and renew its youth is that any good yes it's good and it's worth it hallelujah anyway so let's pray Holy Ghost I pray for these people and right now I pray for their brains I ask you to renew their youth I ask you to quicken them quicken their brains literally turn back time make them clearer than yesterday and we give you thanks and praise for it in Jesus name amen mm -hmm.